Metro Health released the findings of an independent audit today regarding the bonuses the board says former CEO Dr. Akram Boutros allegedly paid himself. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins joins us with what's contained in that report and the response from Dr. Boutros too. The bonus compensation discovery came in the midst of finding a new CEO to replace retiring Dr. Akram Boutros. The independent audit finds additional issues with the way bonuses were handled, including that Boutros created the program without involving human resources or the board, but did include the chief financial officer, who allowed it to go to payroll without confirming board approval. CFO Craig Richmond stepped down Wednesday. Dr. Boutros read the report and in a statement through his attorney said, quote, there is nothing independent about this audit report. The report continues to deny allegations that we could definitively prove to be true today. The Metro Health Board of Trustees approved the bonus program. They knew the CEO was included in the program. They approved the bonus payments for all eligible employees every year. The bonuses were awarded only after a robust assessment. The statement continued saying the board falling down on the job and supposedly not knowing about a bonus program for 200 leaders over five years does not equal concealment. The board's continued response is an unparalleled admission of board malfeasance. Dr. Boutros filed two lawsuits claiming retaliation and improper procedure of hiring his replacement. Metro Health and the Board of Trustees have already implemented steps to, quote, strengthen policies and improve oversight. Now, the Metro Health CEO's annual bonus compensation must be the subject of a separate Board of Trustees resolution and will be audited to assure compliance. Compensation consultants must now verify details of the CEO's pay and benefits with Metro Health Human Resources rather than relying on data provided by the CEO alone. The board will receive actual payroll data for all senior executives at least once annually. And the board created a standalone compensation committee to manage all policies and procedures related to executive pay. Now, Dr. Boutros did pay the money back with interest and reported to the Ohio Ethics Commission back in October. The Ohio Auditor's Office is also investigating and has said any fi findings would be forwarded to prosecutors. Metro Health is now looking for a chief people officer who would supervise human resources and provide regular up updates to the board as well. And you can read the entire audit and previous stories on WKYC.com. You've been covering this from the beginning. A lot to talk about still. There's, yeah, there's still a lot more details to find, uh, to hear. And then, of course, Dr. Boutros' lawsuits as well. All right, Monica, thank you. Sure.